The reality is that the people in Scotland have voted at successive elections now to put Scotland's future in Scotland's hands and ensure that the likes of the Prime Minister and the Chancellor who are posted missing don't have the economic levers that are causing such distress from just now. But it did irk with me slightly that the Honourable Gentleman for the SNP thought this was something he should highlight, that the Chancellor wasn't here. Because I remember being in Holyrood in the Scottish Parliament just a few weeks ago. When... Well, laugh at this. Laugh at this if you want. I remember being in the Scottish Parliament just a few weeks ago when we were discussing kids dying at the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital. I led for the Scottish Conservatives. Anna Sawar led for Labour. Alex Cole Hamilton led for the Scottish Liberal Democrats. Every party leader turned up to that debate with the exception of Nicola Sturgeon. The local MP in Glasgow, the Health Secretary when that hospital was created, and someone who has many questions to answer, she couldn't even turn up to a debate about that. Not only that, she couldn't even be bothered to vote. So when the SNP want to pick fights and say who should or shouldn't be responding to these debates, just remember what their own leader does in Hollywood.